What about going out on the water today? Uh, I'm excited. It's been years since I've been on the water with I you. I think it literally has. Oh, uh, yeah. No, no lies about that. You get to see her on the water today. Fish and Freaks, welcome back to the channel. It is time for initiation into the Rackley family fishdom. My son, he's fixing to turn three and he hasn't caught his first fish yet. This is an important day. We're going to try to make it happen and we're gonna have ourselves a good family time on the water and follow tradition. Let's get it. All right, Ben, what do you think? Good. You're good? Yeah. Man, you look ready. You think you're gonna catch your first fish today? Uh-huh. I think so. <laughs> Amy, what about you? He's ready to go. Ben's, Mommy? Ben seems a little stiff. He's, like, he's trying to enjoy himself, but he's a little yeah, he's a little weirded out right now. Before we get started right now, guys, I gotta let you know about the huge Memorial Day sale we have going on at GuggenSquad.com. This week on the site, we're busting out some big deals honoring Memorial Day. This is a good time to pick up some of the new long sleeve hoodies. These things are so light and comfortable. I love wearing these. I'm actually wearing one in the video right now. Our new design on the boat shorts, those are also 10 bucks off. And if you wanna pick up a pair of the older design boat shorts, which are super comfortable as well, they're 35 bucks off. Same thing on some of the older design hoodies where we've got them $35 or more off. And brand new trending this week, we got our Largemouth USA t-shirt. Oh look, here's my favorite hat right here that I actually lost on the lake earlier this season. Here it is right now for only 10 bucks. We also got slick new button downs and polos. 10 bucks off on those right now. Don't forget about baits and tackle though. Right now the mystery soft bait bundle, 53 bucks off. We also got rods on sale, and there's one at the bottom of Lake Louisville that you can find that you'll see later in this video. And when you're shopping the sale this week, you got a chance to win one of our legacy items, the Yee Yee Frog, and other awesome golden ticket items. That's right, we're doing it like Willy Wonka in here. So the link is down in the description. Go shop around, and don't forget to use my promo code LFG at checkout to save even more. Thanks in advance for shopping with us at GuggenSquad.com. Now let's get back to the program. All right, let's get little Ben rigged up with his spoon. Let's get everybody spooned up, ready to catch some fish. All right, Benny boy. Bye, Ben. Time to get you a lure out. Yay. Whoa. Whoa. Good, yeah. good balance. Yeah, you gotta get your sea legs, son. I know, you can't wait. We're, we're, going, we're gonna go fast and then we'll be there soon, okay? I like the stance, Ben. The full squat. I wish I could do that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We'll get, we'll get it dialed. We'll, we're, don't we're worry. Go Ooh, I like your lure, Ben. I like yours. Okay, you ready, buddy? Yeah. Here we go. Woo! All right, y'all, right now we're doing our training. We have not found the fish yet. The guide is not doing his job the best right now, but I uh, I wanted to see if my boat's gonna sit here and on spot lock in these big waves, and it, and it will, which is good. Fish are not on this hump. We're gonna check a couple of other ones, but Ben is doing fantastic. He's uh, he's He's got the let it go down to the bottom thing down. <laughs> right now, I'm not sure what he's doing with his line, but. Oh, no. I think you got it, bud. You just. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. Yeah, reel it in. There you go. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Mom's got the hang of it. Everybody's got the rhythm. Yeah. We just need the fish. It's been a long time since I've used a real fishing pole. <laughs> I just always pick up the kids. It. Yeah, you let it go down, you press the button. Done. Yep, done. Very good. It's gonna happen, Ben. I just gotta get you on the right school, buddy. You got the technique. Be coachable. Alright, 
That's what the coaches always say. Be coachable. You'll be all right. There is no fish whatsoever right here right now. We're waiting on them. I think we're gonna have to go find them. There you go, Ben. Got one. Daddy's got one. He wants to reel it in. Amy, you want to reel this in? This feels big. Oh, Daddy's got a big one. Ben, you, ben, want, to you want to reel it in? You want to help Daddy? I'm walking over my buggy. So big. Can I do it? Sure. Okay. I don't want to jump into my life. Oh gosh. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Hold up. All right, Ma mommy's on. I don't even know what this is. Oh, wanna, Ben wants to do, do it. it. Okay, okay, help him. Yeah, I will. Because that, that thing yeah. will pull him in. <laughs> He's going to get okay. There you go, Ben. We're going to do it together, okay? Whoa. Ooh. There you go, Ben. What do you guys have? Uh, oh, Ben, you ready? What's it going to be? Reel it in, Ben. Go, go. Ooh. Keep Ooh. going, keep going. We don't want the fish in there for too long. Ah, keep going. Doing fine, doing fine. Oh! Whoa, what's it be? Oh, it's a hybrid! It's a hybrid striped bass! Look at that big one, guys! Oh my gosh! It's a big one! Oh no, Ben, you lost your hat! Okay, ready? See if Mama can boat flip. I kind of forgot how to do this. Oh, don't do it up high up on the rod, do it back on the low on the rod. There you go. I kind of forgot how to do this. Yeah, just lift it up. <laughs> Oh! Get it in! Oh, oh. <laughs> there you go! Ah. Ah. Hey, that's a hybrid! Oh. Nice fish, guys! Yes. Nice one! Look at Ben! Yeah. All about it. Pet the fishies! Good job, guys! Oh no! Ah. Okay. Now uh, this one, this one's got to be a long, little longer to keep, so we're gonna let it go. Okay. Good job, team. Good job, team. Fish. All right. Oh, you want another fish? What do you think, Ben? That's you caught that with me, Ben. What do you think about? Oh, those are spines. They're sharp. Yeah, big, big boo boos up there. Okay. Okay, we'll let him go. All right. Another. Okay. All right. At the top. Okay, Ben. So there's one more. Here, let Daddy. Daddy will do it. You guys keep fishing your little poles. Okay, you want to reel it in, bud? Okay. There you go. Doing good. Doing good. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Nice job, buddy. Good job. High five. Yeah. So that's a little one Whoa. we can eat. Yeah, it is a little one we can eat, but you know what? I think it might actually be a hybrid, so I'm going to let it go. All righty, Ben, you caught two on Daddy's pole. You ready to catch one on your fishing pole? Yeah. If you'll let me get it down there for you. you might get something big out here. All right, he's... He's reeled in two. As soon as we get one on, he's like, Ben, do it. Ben, do it. He's about it. Like the tenacity. Well, these reels are nice for just getting it down to the bottom quick. Might be a step coming in. No, sir. No, sir. We don't want to get off the fish. <laughs> you got to stay on the fish. I know. The buttons are fun. Oh, my bam. Are you showing the camera your Katie did? Okay. How's that Moana pole hanging? It's okay, it's a little hard to feel on Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a tough dangle on that thing. Man, the wind's picking up. It's not, not cool. I don't like the wind when I'm out in the middle of the lake. It's big poopy on the boat. Oh boy. Oh boy, we'll be catfishing soon. 
I think we're gonna make a little move anyways. Yep, water's coming over the front. Poopy change time. I'm gonna let mom handle that one. All right guys, so so far we have two fish. We've got a hybrid and uh, possibly a white bass. Mixture hybrid, I'm not sure. I'm gonna do a little just moving. I, I gotta find the I gotta find the wad so the kids can just drop down, get on. A little splash right here. Hold on. Ooh, there's a group of fish. There's a group of fish. Good group. Good group. Good group. Hang on to your keisters, kids. He doesn't want to change his poop. He wants to catch a fish, Mom. I know, it's windy, bud. Yeah. I'm trying to get one of these big fish for you. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Ben, you want to reel this one in, buddy? Oh, Emmy's, Emmy wants it. All right. Careful. Hold that rod tip up high. You got him. You got him. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, too, too much. There you go. All right. All right. That looks like a good one to put into the cooler. All right, Ben, what do you think about that, bud? Yeah. Good job, Amy. Yeah. High five. Ben, you want the next one? Oh, 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 there's a fish on there. Ah! Oh my God! brother could reel it in and I think I accidentally Push. nudged him. Watch <laughs> and where the, are you going? We have a confession. You, Amy, you are 100% correct, darling. Okay. But you know what? Daddy also, the first thing he did was drop his own fishing pole and jump in to grab your brother. So I don't care about the little Spider-Man fishing pole. Okay. I care about your brother. I know. And I would throw this rod in the lake it, again. To, to get your brother out. I lost my pole. Oh no. <laughs> I dropped my pole immediately. I was like. Well sure, who's more important? I, exactly, exactly. I will say kudos to our like fast reflexes because you jumped in and I was just right oh, it there was, too. It was quick, but I, I totally forgot I had my mic on, so I ruined it. Lost, uh, I, got, I lost a, a fishing reel, <laughs> one of my favorite poles, and his pole. Broke Emmy's. Broke Emmy's, it was chaos, guys. And Emmy has referred to a, a book that uh, actually a fan wrote, and we read it. And I don't know if I've shared it on this channel, but 
it helped her relate to what just happened. And it's a kid's book. We're going to show it to you. I think the day is probably done unless Ben can recover. It seems to be okay now. That's because I made him feel better. You are so awesome. You're a great big sister. Give me a fist bump on that. Wabam. Stickers for everybody. Yay! Stickers for everybody. Oh my gosh. What a day, guys. <laughs> I, think, I think they have seen your bug. <laughs> uh, everyone has seen your bug now. The, Ben is, uh, is very interested in the boat mechanisms, how everything works. Yep, those are split ring pliers. Those do not. They're tiny. Where do they go, Ben? I don't know. Where do they go? In there. Basically, guys, we, we've just come into calm waters just to chill out. The kids are just, they're, they're finishing their dinners. And I just wanted to ben, ben to experience some calm water for a second. Emmy is like a trooper. She, she's not even phased by any of this. I just didn't want him to be traumatized, and he's he's fine. Actually, when we stopped, he said he wanted to fish again. Uh, he, yeah, he wanted to keep fishing. So I think we got ourselves a trooper on our hands. This is my son's first time fishing in the boat with me. He's been out when he was a little tiny baby. Um, didn't even know what's, what was going on. Today is his first day, like out on the water, fishing with us. He has been fully initiated. Uh, I, I think he's gonna remember this one for the rest of his life, falling in the water. But anyways, I, I'm just kind of, I'm chilling out uh, in some calm water, just make sure everybody everybody's cool. Uh, guys, if, if you're gonna take your kids out, always put the life jackets on. Strap them in because that that right there can happen in a split second and in when you're in rough conditions like that i mean who knows who knows so you got to make sure if you're taking kids out they have their life jackets on and, and emmy we've made it a point where she knows how to swim she's like a fish in the water but uh, what do you got there bud you pulling out swim baits you checking everything out yeah He's checking everything out. He thinks he's Hi. Hi. Mimi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> and also, my mom spotted a rainbow in the sky. I saw a blow up over there of a fish. You saw a blow up? <laughs> Mama saw a blow up. I saw a blow up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, wanted to get him on his first fish catch. Ended up happening but he also went into the lake. Uh, moral of the story, always, always, always have the kids wearing life jackets, you guys wear your life jackets, you just never know. I actually just got off the internet ordering another life jacket for myself. Uh, for having a new boat, not knowing it very well, I'm gonna get a new kill switch, a new life jacket, I'm gonna wear it because you just never know. You know, maybe a hot foot gets stuck. Maybe you hit a random log out of the lake after it's been flooded. I've just been thinking about these things after my son went in the water. I watched him disappear. It was scary. Uh, and I, it, in a, a split second, you know, I was like, oh, he's gone. I but tried wait to- Wait a minute, so you're I, taking the whole thing and you're putting it on me? No, 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 no. I'm just saying the fishing pole. I know, I know. The I fishing know, pole was left unattended yes, by I, a person out of four. <laughs> Out of four, it was you. It was me, but who bumped him into the water? That was me. Yes, you. That was me, but I was trying to go after the fishing pole. So, <laughs> moral. there's a lot of morals to this story. When you're fishing around a lot of fish, don't leave a fishing rod with a lure dangling in the water <laughs> unless you want to lose it. So, I wanted to shout out um, a couple of people that have sent me books over the years. Yeah. And uh, one, just a general fishing book uh, for girls. If any of y'all have daughters out there that like to fish or like the outdoors, maybe they haven't gone fishing, maybe you want to get them introduced. This is Layla's Big Bass. This is by Laura uh, Bartolozzi. The other one that she was referring to, so we read both of these, is uh, Fishing with Daddy. And this, this one is by Lacey uh, Vadrine. And uh, there we go. See, she signed it, sent it to the Lake Fork guy. So, this, this is actually a, an amazing book uh, for kids to try to show them that going out on the water every time isn't just this amazing, like, hey, we're gonna catch a bunch of fish and it's awesome. 
sometimes you don't catch any fish and sometimes bad things happen on the water that we can't really control and we just have to learn to have a good outlook on life. Yeah. So I just wanted to share a few pages of this with you guys. Shows them going to the lake uh, and it's his daddy and it's daddy and daughter. They're going, they, they lose the cooler, the boat slips off the trailer, they go into the lake, he ends up falling in. Uh, which is what she's referring to. He's all wet. They're trying to go. The, he gets a, a backlash. Tries to throw out the cast net. Uh, the rod gets in the tree. They lose a fishing pole. Uh, all the worms are dead. They're trying to fish with. And, and uh, every, everything basically does not go well. And it's funny. And it's entertaining. And it helps Amy relate to it. So anyway, I just want to give uh, those people a shout out for uh, writing those books. I think it's awesome and sending them to us. So I'm glad everybody's okay and you're ready for another dangle. Yep. The summer's here. A lot of times on the lake, things are just crazy. Uh, people get wild in the summer. So I just want everybody that watches this channel to be safe, make it home, back to your families, and hopefully you got some good fishing stories to tell, but main thing is just make it back alive. All right, y'all, be safe. Tight lines, and we'll see you on another outdoor episode soon.